This is a book review of Extraordinary Records from Passion. Yet another brilliant book, part of their uh, series of Biblioteca Universe. This, and this came out in 2017. And how many pages? There's quite a few pages in this. It's about nearly 600 pages, predominantly in colour. It's got lots and lots of pictures of the records, as well as sometimes the sleeves as well. But you've got the records predominantly. And in many cases, you've got some introduction details about the record, as well as the actual title date released, country, etc., and the label. That's generally, that's included. But in some, you've got an actual bit of detail. So you've got there the Beatles one, the other submarine, you've got some a lot more text, but not vast amount of text. And then you've got some, and I'm just going to flip through because I'm now going to find one where there's no, I like this one, Isoa Tomita. And you've got no details about it so it's not everyone has a lot of details but many do so you've got here the boys town gang and lots of these records i have never heard of and that's really the thing i like about these sort of books i love books of record covers record sleeves and you've got record covers but record discs think well why would you bring out a book of those well in some cases this is quite odd because you've got really it's just showing the label because it's all it is is really a purple record However, it does by the halfway through, you start getting more interesting ones where you've got, where it's some really lovely sort of groovy art that you was included in these things. This is Stereophonic Demonstration Record. And this came out late 1959. Wow. And it's actually got a little bit of obviously narration by Jack Wagner. And then you've got this one, The Hope Conspiracy, Rolling Stones, Bright Lights, Big City. And so you've got some really, starting to get some really, beautiful artwork shown in this. So it's not all just like orange records. There's a lot of just orange or purple records, but there's also many that are uh, slightly more interesting. But again, it's also a great way of looking through this and thinking, oh, that's a great album. So uh, Electric Light Orchestra, Out of the Blue, of course, classic. And uh, Turn to Stone, It's Over, Sweet Talking Woman, Across the Border. And of course, then you can just go and Explore, go and play those records, find those records as well. Of course, or you just use something like Spotify or Amazon, etc., and play the records. And you've got some just stunning ones here. Joan Orleans, again, a person I've never heard of. Uh, sad to admit, I know all these things. You, how do you know every single record? This one, uh, Hot Stuff, I do know that one by Rolling Stones, Lords of the New Church. Now, some of these records were really odd shapes. This was a lot, and I, I had quite a few sort of odd-shaped records. I never really liked odd-shaped records. I always thought it was the silliest thing. Plus, they never store very well. Because if you've got a records collection, you want to put them in a nice little row. You've got stored away. But you've got like that. You've got the heart. You've got the record in the centre. So it's actually got a lot more plastic, and it's really quite big. And it just doesn't fit nicely. Where do you put it? You have to end up putting it with your 12-inch records because it's so big. And you've got there, you've got a... Hexagon one. You've got one that looks like uh, this one's obviously a butterfly. Just a day away. Shaped single. So you've got a shaped single. Christmas rock, this one. This one, rock goddess. Got a brilliant one with obviously the uh, serpent medusa there. And this one, Grace Jones one. This is the party girl, 1987. And they really went, sort of went to town with this one. This one, lovely Star Trek. The story of Star Wars. I imagine that's a collector's item. The London Symphony Orchestra. Obviously a picture picture a disc there glorious call it rock and roll and you've got some really really stunning stunning ones here michael jackson dangerous i mean that is stunning and that's on there's on the back so you've got the michael jackson one on the back there but you've got some odd shaped ones and you've got some quite some interesting ones uh obviously they went to town with that 007 cinderella oh nina hagen band hagen band this one, the brilliant artwork there. Robert Johnson, absolutely superb. R. Crumb. Now, that's a really good book. And I've got that book where you've got the R. Crumb with the artwork of all the blues, classic. And also the book about his uh, life story with, uh, and he talks all about all the records he's bought. Robert Crumb, absolutely amazing. But you've got that beautiful one there. Robert Crumb. And so on and so on. So you've got also Madonna, the Queen, the Night of the Opera. Saxon, oh brilliant album, Heavy Metal Thunder, oh Molly Hatchet, Molly Hatchet had some really, really, really good 
picture discs. That's great stuff. Hammerfall. And then that's it. You've got labels break down at the back. And of course, this standard, they've got an advert at the back with all the Tashman books. And of course, it's changed a bit because this is a few years ago. They, they do change them slightly. So some of these might be slightly harder to get than others. Maybe not. I mean, certainly uh, you should be able to find them. And also secondhand shops. They, they turn up quite regularly. And that's often where I pick the Tashman books up. You can think, oh, I'll see that for a couple of quid. And you think, wow. But this one's brilliant. Stanley Kubrick archives, absolutely brilliant, that one. Got that one. History of photography, 20th century photography. That's a great one. A thousand record covers, superb funk and soul covers, jazz covers. Uh, the Alex Stein Vice one, brilliant. Uh, and so on and so on. A oh, thousand pin-up per girls, really good. And again, fashion, Domus, is superb. Also these ones, decorative arts, 50s, 60s and 70s. I don't think they're, they're readily available now. So you might find those obviously on uh, things like Amazon or whatever. But uh, there, but you've got loads of these brilliant books. And of course they keep bringing out new volumes. I just love, really love this Biblioteca uh, Universalist series. And you've got the advert for the Alex uh, Stein at the back and tattoos and as well as the 100 manga artists fashion book. Again, another brilliant book from Tashin. I love their books. So, um, one of my favourite places I must be I pop into. You got Selfridges in London, and of course there is a Tashman bookshop I think in London somewhere. I haven't been to it for quite a while, but the uh, Selfridges has got a section with uh, the uh, Tashman books, and it's just uh, all the books along it. Wow, really love Tashman books, and uh, they of course got their big ones as well. Got the massive Stanley one and the uh, um, Hockney, just beautiful, beautiful books. So. Uh, I just love Tashman books, and this uh, this one is a thoroughly enjoyable, slightly unusual, I have to say, topic, but still absolutely brilliant. Extraordinary records, well worth checking out.